This is a tutorial on AutoCAD groups. There tends to be a bit of confusion around groups because grouping objects together is very similar to creating blocks. Here's the difference. In this little bathroom here I've got a toilet and a basin. We have groups up here on the ribbon. If I click on the group button I can select the objects, enter, and you'll see there that they group together. This is quite handy if you want to copy something around. So these two, for example, are easily copied together as a group. So the question I get a lot is, why use a group instead of a block? Well, the benefit of blocks is that if you redefine a block, it will redefine every instance of that block around your drawing. That functionality isn't available with groups. You can see here we have an option to ungroup. You can also do it on the right click menu. So selecting a group, right clicking, go down to group, you have an option to ungroup. You can also add objects to group, you can also remove objects from group. It's all very straightforward. On the ribbon here, if you drop down the menu further, you can see that there is a group manager. If you want to get technical about labeling your groups, and also you can choose whether to have the group boundary box on or off. So switching it off, there you're not able to see it anymore. It's probably best to keep it on. We also have this option here, uh, group selection on and off. If that's turned off, you're able to select individual objects within that group. So probably also best to keep that on as well. But as I say, the main difference here is that with groups, if I choose to change one particular group, it doesn't affect the others. And so you may find that using blocks is more advantageous.